memorial for fallen special operations forces is here in Tampa at McDill. The goal of this, the revision kinetic operations suit, is to keep any new names from going on to that monument. So as part of a huge military convention here in Tampa called Suffolk, it is out in public for the first time. You have got to check this out. Night vision, computers, communications can all just be plugged right into this suit. Instead of only a bulletproof vest, it wraps 60% of a warrior's body in armor. But that stuff is so heavy. So on the outside of the suit, a motorized metal skeleton carries that weight instead of the person inside. When I turn that helmet, that whole system articulates. So the operator actually feels zero load directed in the top of his head. So you've got about a 10 pound head protection package that you don't feel on the head. And it's important to say this is a work in progress and one company's vision, one version of this technology, we expect to see many more over the next few years. Special Operations Command, SOCOM at McDill Air Force Base is pushing this project. Since the decision makers are here in Tampa, this suit is debuting in Tampa. Supporters are telling me we can expect that focus on the Bay Area to keep growing.